Good morning, Erica, and good morning to everybody at home. We are sending the love. Last month was National Adopt a Greyhound Month, and one local rescue doing its part, looking to find both foster and forever homes for these pups. Take a look at what they're doing and why now might be the best time to bring home a furry friend. Hi, my name is Stacy, and this is Bindi. We adopted Bindi from Connecticut Greyhound Adoption, or CGA, in the fall of 2015. If you haven't met a greyhound before, you're missing out. They're generally quiet, affectionate, and gentle dogs. And even though they can reach speeds of 45 miles per hour, they don't require a lot of exercise. This is how Bindi spends most of her time. Since adopting Bindi, we've become ambassadors for CGA on social media. We've attended events, made donations, and I joined the board of directors. And we recently adopted out our 15th foster dog. Fostering has been so rewarding for our family. We teach the dogs how to navigate new things like hardwood floors, glass sliding doors, and stairs. We also help them with leash and food manners and expose them to other dogs, cats, and children. There are many newly retired racers looking for permanent loving homes. CGA has adapted its processes to adhere to social distancing guidelines. And with many families spending more time at home, it can be a great time to add a new family member. To learn more, you can visit CGA at ctgreyhounds.org. Thank you. All right, and we know our meteorologist Matt Scott just bringing home a dog himself. And the woman you see here on your screen, this is Meredith Bakioki from Ansonia. She just got her foster greyhound, and she tells me she thinks she's going to end up being a foster fail and that that pup will most likely end up staying with her forever. Good to see you there.